activities. Uh, we're going to hear from, uh, first of all, we're going to hear from Brian Dooley, talk about the women's soccer program. And then we'll hear from uh, Coach Kurt Van Valkenburg to talk about the football program. Just a, a note of information, Howard Schnellenberger is in uh, El Paso right now, coaching the college all-star game, uh, the uh, Texas versus the nation. Should be on TV on Saturday at 2 o'clock. CBS. CBS. CBS College Sports. CBS College Sports. So there will be some information on our website. Katrina will take care of that, I'm sure, right? All right. Well, first of all, let me bring up Coach Brian Dooley, uh, our women's soccer coach, and to talk about his uh, 13 signees. Brian. Well, appreciate the opportunity to come and let you know what's going on with the women's soccer program. And the opportunity to add 13 great players to our program can bring us back to the top of the conference. Last year was a disappointing season for us, and kind of change our perspective on the recruiting side of things. And I think we've corrected a lot of things with this particular class. It ranges from you know, some depth in the goalkeeping position to five players that play up top, which will help us get on the goal scoring side of things, some added depth into the defense, and some dynamic midfielders as well. So uh, that, going into next year's Sunbelt Conference, should put us into a much better position than where we finished this past season. Uh, among the players we signed number of Florida players, uh, Alexandra Benson. She's from uh, the Orlando area, played at Bishop Moore High School. Uh, club team is the Florida Soccer Alliance. A five foot forward with a lot of speed and a lot of power. Bring some aggression to the field as well. Also from the same club team, Saskia Bryant. She's a five six defender. that has a lot of attacking ability. She'll be able to join the attack from the back, add to our possession, and really bring some dynamic play to our uh, next is uh, Allison Barossi. She's a 5'7 defender, local kid from Cardinal Gibbons High School. Uh, they're currently on track for another run at the state title. If they win Friday, they'll be into the semifinals for the state championship. She's a local girl, plays here with uh, Team Boca on the U18 team. So she's familiar with us, and we're very familiar with her as well. Uh, Stephanie Farrell is a defender, defensive midfielder type player from the Tampa area. She plays, uh, she plays at Eastlake High School and with the soccer club RSL out of the Tampa area. And she's been with that team for the past year, which is one of the top teams in the state. <coughs> Chloe Giordano is a 5'4 midfielder, a hardworking midfielder. And she, uh, she comes from Ontario, from Pickering, Ontario, one of our Canadian girls, also with a club called Ajax Soccer Club, which is the number one club in Ontario. They've won the championship there for the last few years, and she's going to come in and add a lot of a lot of hustle, a lot of fight to our midfield, which is something that's going to help us. Autumn Jordan is a 5'8 midfielder. She uh, just moved into the state of Florida a little over a year ago. She came from New Hampshire, played with Seacoast United Club up there, <coughs> three-time state champion and a Region One finalist. Uh, she's going to give us a lot of a lot of heart into the midfield. She's a leader. She's captain of her high school team, captain of her club team. She's going to be somebody that's going to really help us. Uh, Alexandra Major, this is one girl that's a little bit special because I coached her when she was under nine for Team Boca. And she's played her whole career within the Team Boca club system. She's currently playing over at the Boca High, and, and they're also into the state regional finals. And if they win Friday, they'll also go to the final four. Uh, she's also a Team Boca under 18 player, a teammate of Alex Barossi's. That age. We don't usually sign this many players, but this was a fortunate time for us. Uh, Camille Namba, a 5'8 midfielder, attacking midfielder from Melbourne Beach, Florida. Goes to Satellite Beach High School, which is one of the top high school teams in the state as well. Uh, she's also a member of the Florida Soccer Alliance. She's been a Region 3 uh, team member as well. She's someone that's going to bring in more competition for our team as well. Brittany Nash is a 5'10 striker. She's a goal scorer from uh, DeSoto, Texas. Plays with uh, the Dallas Texans 93 Red, which is one of the top club teams in the country. She's someone that's going to come in with her size, speed, and aggression. It's going to cause some problems for other teams' defense. Uh, Marissa Rousseau, she's a 
five four forward out of Tampa area, also an RSL team player. Uh, she's also been a Florida ODP state team player for the past few years. She's a crafty forward that's going to give us a little different dimension than some of the other kids we have coming in. Jesse Shug is a five six striker. She's from Arlington, Canada. Jessie's someone we're real excited for. She was one of our first commitments. Uh, she committed a long time ago for us, and it was kind of a long time until we got that paper signed. But Jessie's going to come in and, and could very, very well break all the scoring records here at FAU. She's a tremendous athlete, hardworking kid. Uh, as a forward, she challenges defenders more than anyone I've ever seen. Uh, and if you look on the website in our release, there's a photo of her uh, in her yellow shirt. She's the one that's tackling the defender. Okay. And that's the kind of attitude that we wanted to add to the team. Amanda Ward is a 5'7 midfielder. She's from Sewell, New Jersey. She plays with uh, club team FC Delta, which is out of Philadelphia. Uh, their club team won the region, I'm sorry, won the Red Bull National League. She's a midfielder that's going to bring some, some grit to us. She's going to be a ball winner in the midfield. And she can play both left side or right side. So she can really distribute the ball for us. And we're looking forward to seeing her on the perfect field. If you look out that back window, that's, that's the best field in the country. It's a beautiful surface to be playing soccer on, and, and we're going to play some attractive ball on there this year, I can feel it. Then our last uh, commitment was uh, goalkeeper Carlin Aloisio. She's from Lakeland, Florida. She played for George Jenkins High School, which was uh, state champions in the past and one of the top high school teams ranked in the country. And she's going to come in and compete and add some depth to the goalkeeper position, which is very critical for any soccer team have depth there. If you lose your starting goalkeeper and you don't have depth, you could fall into a little bit of trouble there. So we hope that she's going to be ready for that competition as well. And those are the 13 players that we've added to our team. We're excited about it. And next year is going to be a different time for us. We're very confident about that. So thank you. And uh, now we can get to the football.